It is so easy to make your resume and cover letter look like a cohesive marketing package. All you have to do is this. My name's Shauna Cole, and this is Career Interrupted. Okay, I've heard over and over again, the whole idea of writing and formatting a cover letter is just, it's just plain overwhelming to people when they're looking for jobs. They, they say they don't know where to start. They don't know what to include. They don't know what a cover letter should look like. I'm gonna give you three, like these things are so easy to do and they're going to make your cover letter stand out right away. You're gonna look so professional if you do these three easy, easy things. Match your cover letter formatting to your resume formatting. So whatever font you're using on your resume, use it on your cover letter. If you don't do this, it looks like, it doesn't look cohesive, right? Um, but by using the same consistent font, you're creating a more consistent look, feel, brand for your overall marketing package. It looks thought out and it looks like you've got your act together if both of those documents match nicely. You might consider carrying over a header from your resume onto your cover letter as well. So if you've got a nice header using a specific, um, specific stylized font or, or color or whatever, carry that over to your cover letter also. Otherwise your cover letter looks like, ends up, ends up being like this second thought. Cause well, I mean, it is a second thought, right? Nobody wants to write the cover letter, but don't, don't let it look like a second thought. Absolutely use that header, um, use that same font from your resume and ta-da, you have a beautiful, cohesive looking marketing package. Like that was so easy, right? Include your contact information on your cover letter. So many people skip this step and it can be super annoying. Um, by, ha by doing a couple of key things like making sure the format of your resume and cover letter match and also including your um, contact info on the cover letter, you're making the recruiter's life easier and they're gonna like you for it. If your resume and cover letter don't match, the package is gonna look disjointed. So it'll be hard for a recruiter to recognize what cover letter goes with what resume. This is also true if you don't put your contact information on your cover letter in addition to the resume. You want the recruiter to be able to find you no matter what. And you don't know what you're up against in terms of how organized or disorganized this person is. If the cover letters are mismatched from resumes, if they have them printed out, who, like who even knows? So just err on the side of caution. In the event that you write this super impressive cover letter and they wanna contact you on the basis of that, absolutely have your contact information on there so that you're really, really easy to find, easy to connect with, and you're making, you're making the recruiter's life simpler by putting the contact information on the cover letter and not having them go search for it. They, were, they will literally like you more because of it. Don't you like people who make your life easier? I do. Literally, nobody wants to read your lengthy cover letter, sorry, no matter how well written it is. So keep it short and keep it to three really distinct sections. An introduction that says why you're here and why you're applying for the job and how you heard about it. A body that shows how your qualifications clearly match what they're asking for in the job posting. Don't go off and like rant like crazy about all your qualifications. Only include the qualifications that are asked for in the job posting in the body of your cover letter. Another great tactic for this is to even take even take some of the qualifications that are listed in the job posting you're applying to, create a table and column one is your requirements and column two is my qualifications and literally show them exactly how you meet their qualifications. Or if you don't like that approach, you could take, you could take the qualifications that are asked for in the job posting, put them as a bullet point, and then do a sub bullet underneath that explains how your qualifications match what they're asking for in the job posting. Your cover letter needs to be fairly short. So get to the point, do it quick. 
Um, you should never go more than one page. And ideally, ideally you're doing like three quarters of a page max. Your cover letter should not be generic. Um, it should not feel like a template. It should feel custom to the job you're applying to. And a great way to do that is to lean on the information that's provided to you from the job posting and consistently match up your qualifications with what they ask for. Give them what they ask for. Okay, so when it comes to cover letters, so many people find it daunting, just a daunting task. So with these really, really easy steps, like so easy, like, come on, it's so easy to change the font, right? It's gonna make you look much more together than two documents that are formatted differently and don't look like they have any sort of visual, um, visual connection. And it's so easy to do, so easy to do. So just change the font, watch your length of the cover letter, no more than a page, please, nobody, sorry, I'm sure you're awesome, but nobody wants to read that much about you. And um, use the job posting to match up your qualifications to what the employer is actually looking for. And don't forget your contact info because your cover letter is gonna be so awesome, they're gonna to wanna to call you right away. So, so make sure your contact information is included, but not your address. That has no place on your resume or cover letter. And I'll link to a video about why that is the case in the description here. Okay, I hope you found this helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you liked it, give me a like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much for watching and remember to make change work. Mm -hmm.